You know Rabbi Mens gives great advice, and let's face it, it can be hard for singles in this city and in 2023. Multiple dating apps, ghosting, catfishing. So how do you know when it's true love, and is love enough? We asked Rabbi Mens to weigh in and give us some dating tips. What do you say to maybe some people that you give guidance to that are single women? It's hard in the city. Very hard in the city. Mm -hmm. We have a big problem. 90% of all TV shows do not have married people. Mm. And whenever there's a married person, they're usually like, they're just fighting with each other. So marriage is not getting fun. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants love forever. The guy is recognizing that if I get divorced, all my money goes down the drain. Mm. And girls that want to have prenup. So we need a whole rethinking. Guys need to commit earlier. See, a lot of guys, they play the field, and you think they're going to be with you, and then all of a sudden they're 50 years old. They say, I'm going for that 22-year-old girl. I know. And this is not fair to the women. But there's another problem. Girls, why do you give a guy a second chance? Why do you go out without the attitude, I'm only going out to get married. You wanna go and have fun? Have fun. Right. Get broken up, get broken up. Never get married because you love someone. Oh. Well, let me rephrase Okay. That. Never get married because you're in love. What does that mean? Love is an emotion. Yeah. Love is fleeting. Mm. Most people get married, I'm such a high, we had such great love. Or you're dating and then all of a sudden, six months later, you start saying, what was I thinking? One last thing, mm -hmm. this is a Rabbi Men's ism. Why would you make a lifetime decision with your heart? Everything's about the heart. Oh, it feels so good. How many brain cells are in your heart, huh? So why would you make a decision with your heart? You just said something that made me go. One of how my mentors, aha moments. How many brain cells are in your heart? So why Genius. would you go? So you're going to like, but he's cute, he's gorgeous, he's this, he's that. So what if he's in love with that? What I don't care. Ah, he's so dreamy. <laughs> Stop thinking with your heart. Wow. Stop thinking with your heart. Whoa. If you want to get more advice straight from the heart from Rabbi Mens, you can follow him at Chabad Bel Air on Instagram. Okay, I want to ask you, ladies, what else is important to you besides love? In your marriage, what is important to you? Is it communication? Is it trust? Values. Values. That's a big one. Because that's yeah. a big one. Mm -hmm. The same like, appreciation and understanding of family. Um, yeah. And yeah. also just a sense of humor. Because yes. everything you deal with, if you have some sense of humor, it makes it much easier. So do you agree that love isn't sometimes not everything and you need other things? I think the older you get, the more you come to realize that and yeah. you're more rational mm -hmm. about it. Because, right. you know, if you're just following your emotions, it, oftentimes it leads you down the wrong path. Yeah, but he's savage in the way he said that. <laughs> yeah. you know, don't get married for love. Yeah. But it's also love, infatuation. There are different types of love, right? So, yeah. yeah. Lust. And, and all. love grows. Love I think grows. Yeah. Yeah. And matures. Yeah. yeah, over time it develops, it changes. And, and you grow together or yeah. you grow apart, you know? But just tell me real quick, raise your hand if you're, luck, if you're glad you're married and you're not doing the dating thing now oh in gosh. 2023. <laughs>